Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Tactical vehicles are critical assets that ensure the success of complex missions under extreme conditions. Such heavy-duty machines are built for versatility and resilience, and they navigate terrains that are often inaccessible to ordinary vehicles. From the dense European forests to the scorching deserts of the Middle East, these vehicles stand up to the most challenging environments, with perhaps one of the most difficult maneuvers being river crossings. Such deep water crossings will prove the mastery of the machines, but also present a test of skill for the drivers operating them. Such demanding operations where these vehicles traverse aquatic obstacles are known as fording. This is crucial, not just for the completion of direct combat missions, but also to facilitate the safe flow of logistics and troops across a disrupted to non-existent bridge access. Fording is routinely practiced in both military training and real-world operations, allowing for mobility and surprise in the operations. This ability comes in handy where water bodies surround or bisect main operational areas, hence presenting a hurdle and a tactical advantage if closely executed. So at this point, we're gonna wait till all the water fills completely into the back and all the side compartments. Go ahead and go. Before these armored titans confront the challenges of a deep water crossing, meticulous preparations are essential to ensure vehicle integrity and operational success. Every detail, from the oil, fill caps, and dipsticks to the transmission dipstick and seal is checked. They ensure the transmission dipstick and seal are tight Otherwise, operational success will not be guaranteed. Batteries are checked to ensure that caps are tight, connections are tight, and terminal bolts are tightly fastened. Fuel caps are tightly sealed and cargo should be waterproof or removed during passage to protect it against damage. Doors are removed and windows are left down to stave off potential hazards during the crossing. Before the operation commences, the depth of the water must be measured to verify that it does not exceed 60 inches, which is a critical safety threshold for most tactical vehicles. Any rocks or other impediments below the waterline must also be removed to ensure a clear path. Once these procedures are in place, the vehicle is prepared for a safe fording. The forward vent switch is toggled to deep fording, and non-essential systems like lights and heaters are turned off to conserve electrical power and minimize the chances of an electrical failure. during the operation, as the vehicle enters deep water, these operations ensure a controlled and efficient operation. Immediately after exiting the water, all action is taken to drain any remaining water from the vehicle. Critical post-operation checks include a thorough investigation of all oils for evidence of water contamination or discoloration to keep the vehicles in optimal condition for the next missions. Wait! 
it is important to recognize the versatility of the U.S. Marine tactical vehicles in amphibious operations. Apart from tactical operations on land, these vehicles are crucial in amphibious operations, specifically the AAV launch from ships. Known in official military terminology as the Assault Amphibious Vehicle, or AAV, but in its earlier days as the LVTP-7. This vehicle has been one of the most formidable foundations of the United States Marine Corps in Amelia. Its continuous upgrades have taken place since its introduction in 1972. The AAV is used to deliver troops directly onto the beach during amphibious assaults. Once the amphibious assault is launched, the assault and deployment operations are completed quickly without the Marines having to stop at the edge of the water. In addition to AAVs, the Marine Corps utilizes landing craft air cushion, or LCAC, vehicles as an important component of its amphibious fleet. An LCAC is a hovercraft capable of making fast and efficient transport of heavy equipment, vehicles, and personnel over stretches of land varying from ship to shore. These air cushioned crafts float on top of the water, thus providing ideal capabilities for operations where traces of obstacles may deter conventional landing crafts or in shallow waters. The valuable flexibility of the countries using the LCAC enables rapid deployment and retrieval, thus increasing the operational flexibility and response speed on the part of the Marine Forces during the execution of amphibious assaults and disaster relief missions. Moving from amphibious and land-based tactical operations, another crucial aspect of military logistics and operations involves air transportation of cargo and troops. The Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey is distinctive in this category because of its tilt rotor design combining the vertical lift capability of the helicopter and the speed and range of a turboprop aircraft. The V-22 Osprey can take off and land vertically like a helicopter, then transition into horizontal flight like an airplane to fly further. Rolls-Royce T406 engines are located in wingtip nacellus that tilt according to the flight mode.
The Bell Boeing B-22 Osprey is a multi-purpose aircraft that uniquely couples the vertical lift of a helicopter with the speed and range of a fixed-wing aircraft. The crew of the Osprey consists of three to four crew members, typically including a pilot, co-pilot, and one or more crew chiefs, flight engineers, loadmasters, or gunners. The Osprey is 57 feet, four inches long. With doors and wings folded, it is 62 feet, 7.6 inches long. It has a wingspan of 45 feet, 10 inches, and with rotors, spans 84 feet, 6.8 inches wide. Width with rotors in the folded position is down to 18 feet, 5 inches. This aircraft is 22 feet, 1 inch high with vertical nacellus and 17 feet and 7.8 inches at the peak of the tail fins. Its maximum speed is 275 knots, climbing to 305 knots at 15,000 feet. The stall speed is about 110 knots, and its range is 879 nautical miles. The armament on the aircraft includes options that provide the capability of mounting either a 7.62 mm M240 machine gun or a 12.7 mm M2 Browning machine gun on the ramp, and both weapons are removable. In addition, there is an option for a 7.62 mm GAU-17 minigun, which is belly-mounted, retractable, and remotely controlled via video in the remote Guardian system. The B-22 is equipped with advanced avionics, such as ANARC-182 VHF UHF radio, KY-58 VHF UHF encryption devices, ANDVT HF encryption, and ANAAR-47 missile approach warning system, among others. The aircraft employs AN AYK-14 mission computers and utilizes an APQ-168 multifunction radar. It may be installed with directional infrared countermeasures, or DIRCM, providing an aircraft with improved OPSEC and operational effectiveness in a hostile environment. Apart from the remarkable capabilities of the B-22, the CH-47 Chinook is the other famous bird of the U.S. military. This twin-engine tandem rotor helicopter constitutes one of the heaviest lift helicopters developed by the American rotorcraft company Vertol and manufactured by Boeing Vertol, now known as Boeing Rotorcraft Systems. It's primarily used for troop movement, 30 seconds. artillery emplacement, and battlefield resupply. The aircraft has a wide loading ramp at the rear of the fuselage and is equipped with three external cargo hooks. The CH-47 is among the heaviest lifting Western helicopters and can go up with a top speed of 170 knots, faster than 196 miles per hour or 315 kilometers per hour, then contemporary utility and attack helicopters of the 1960s. 
It can carry an amazingly heavy load of 21,000 pounds, a weight heavier than that carried by 10 average-sized family cars. The Chinook has seen operational service with 16 nations, with the largest fleets belonging to the U.S. Army and the Royal Air Force. Due to its versatility and capability, the Chinook is a globally valued player in military operations. Its functions range from medical evacuation to heavy lift transport, including disaster relief efforts and firefighting missions. From resilient tactical vehicles capable of fording rivers to advanced airborne platforms like the V-22 Osprey and CH-47 Chinook, the combination of innovation and strategic application forms the backbone of effective military operations. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.